Hi, uh, students will do ICSE 10th 2023 Maths paper and we are starting with section A. So we will see section A is of 40 marks and this is time assigned is 2 and a half hours and marks are 80 so section A has 40 marks. So we will begin with section A 2023. Question number 1. So all the questions are uh, to be done there is no choice no option. So first question is if there are two matrices given when x and y is a variable you have to find the value of and x and y okay so what we'll do is we'll resolve this matrix so we get so what we get is uh, we'll simplify this so 2 0 0 4 and here we have x and y to multiply it so what we'll do is we'll take the first row and this column okay so this will resolve to 2 into x plus 0 into y and uh, second element of first column that will be 0 into x plus uh, 4 into y okay and then that is equal to 2x and 4y and we have a matrix given on the other side which is 2 and minus 8 so we will equalize the elements so that means 2x is equal to 2 and 4y is equal to minus 8 now we will solve it if 2x is equal to 2 then x is equal to 1 now you are in 10th grade so I think you know you can do it like this or you know you could divide both the sides by the same coefficient so that will be a little for junior grade so x is equal to 1 y is equal to minus 2 so a is the right answer ok now next one next one is if x minus 2 is a factor of x cube minus kx minus 12 find the value of k so what do we do in such scenarios we know if something is a factor of some polynomial we take that factor x we will put x minus 2 is equal to 0 ok so that means x is equal to 2 so we will put value of x as 2 in this polynomial which is x cube minus kx minus 12 and whatever we get is the this has to equalize to 0 because x minus 2 is a factor of this polynomial so replacing x is equal to 2 we get 2 to the whole cube minus k into 2 minus 12 is equal to 0 what is 2 to the power whole cube that is 8 minus 2k minus 12 is equal to 0. We will take 2k on the other side. We get 8 minus 12 is equal to minus 4. That means k is equal to minus 4 by 2. That is minus 2. So c is the answer. Now we will move on to third one. And the third one says, now if you see third one we will do right here. Now we know that we have this diagram rt is a tangent so we know that tangent is always meeting the center at 90 degree now we'll presume that there is a center of the circle presuming o that means angle ost is 90 degree so this angle is 90 degree okay i will rather draw a larger diagram and then try to do it so we have this uh, and we have this and we have this here and there is a tangent which is going straight and this angle is given as this is P this is S this is Q this is R and this is T this angle is given to us 30 degrees we have to find P S Q ok and we are given this angle this is 60 degree right now if you see that if I presume that there is a center somewhere O 
so ost will be 90 degree right if ost is 90 degree and pst is 30 degree that means this angle is 60 degree right if this angle is 60 degree okay and o is the center of the circle point connecting o to p will be there will be another red eye so op is equal to os op is equal to os right hence angle osp is equal to angle ops which is 60 degree which is already 60 that means o is somewhere on the line qp okay that means o is somewhere on the line QP because there is no other possibility. So if O is on the line QP, that means QP is the diameter. Hence QP is the O has to be on QP. Therefore QP is the now we know that now angle QSP is angle QSP is an angle within the semicircle okay so if there's a semicircle there's an angle within it it has to be 90 degree so angle qsp has to be 90 degrees because this is angle made by the diameter the chord here is qp the diameter okay so that logic i have taken there are some other ways of doing it but uh, you know that uh, later yeah now next is a letter is chosen uh, at random from all the letters of English alphabet. So how many letters are there in the English al alphabet? So total number of possible events twenty-six. Okay. And how many vowels are there? So vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So favoring events are five only. Okay, so what is the probability that the letter is a vowel? So letter is a vowel, the probability is PE is equal to number of favoring events divided by total events. That is 5 over 26. If 3 is a next is fifth question, 3 is the root of the quadratic equation x square minus px plus 3 then p is equal to now if 3 is the root of this quadratic equation, then we can replace x with 3. Okay. If 3 is the root, then we can replace that is the property of a root. Okay. Yeah. So we'll replace that is 3 square minus p into 3 plus 3. I think this question paper is very easy. So you have 9 minus 3p plus 3 is equal to 0. 9 plus 3 is 12 and 3p will take on the right hand side. So we get p is equal to 12 over 3. That is 4. 4 is one of the options. So we have a. Then we have 6th. Okay. 6th <coughs> question we have given figure. Now we are given that BAP is equal to DCP is 70. Now if you see there are two triangles. In triangle PCD and triangle PAB. Two angles which is angle BAP is equal to angle PCD. Okay, is equal to 70 degree. And one angle is common. Angle P is common. Right? So two angles are equal. The three angles of a triangle add up to 180. So the third angle has to be equal. Okay. Right. So angle PDC is equal to angle PBA. Yeah. All three add up to 180. So 180 minus A plus B is 180 minus alpha plus beta. Right. My handwriting is a little bad, so I hope you will manage with that. So these two angles are also equal. So this becomes a case of similarity. So now we know in case of similar triangles, what happens is that ratio of one side of arms is equal to ratio of other side of arms. 
so we are supposed to find pd over db pd over db will be same as pc over ac now actually you know this is like this that pd by db is there is this is not the way we work out ratio what we do is we say pd over pb is equal to pa over pd over uh, pb correct so this side will be pc this side will be equivalent will be pc over pa ab ab dono side se you subtract minus 1 and you arrive at this so pd by pb minus 1 will be okay or in fact reverse side so you know this is how you have to this is how you, similarity question is written but on a rough side or on a faster note you can say that pc over ac is equal to pd over bd because pa and pc are in a ratio similarly pb and pd are in a ratio right so this arm and this arm okay will be in a ratio so if i if i subtract minus 1 and plus 1 so we arrive at this so what we will do is pd by bd is equal to pc by ac and pc by ac is given here which is 6 over 4 so 2 is a 6 to 2 is a 4 so here 3 is to 2 right next is 7 the printed price of an article is 30 this is i think the easiest question you know in gst you have lot more uh, tough questions in your book so printed price means Now you have MRP. MRP is equal to three zero eight zero. You have to find GST. GST is ten percent. So GST is ten percent means it will be ten percent of MRP. So what is ten percent of three zero eight zero? That will be three zero eight. You simply take a zero out when you are dividing something by ten. Ten percent is what? Ten by hundred. Percent per means per over ten over hundred. That is what percent stands for. Forty percent is forty over hundred. So ten by hundred over of three zero eight zero is you simply adjust the zero is gone. So this ten the zero is gone. So you get three zero. Next one. Now we are doing eight. One plus sine a one minus sine. I think this is the simplest question. We'll use the formula. What you know is a plus b into a minus b. You know what is that? A plus b into a minus b. That is a square minus b square. So one is a and sine a is b. So we get one minus sine square. A. What is one minus sine square? A? That is cos square. A. Simple identity. So answer is d. Correct. Sine square a plus cos square plus cos square is one. Next one, coordinate of the vertices of A, B, C are respectively this centroid. Now we know the formula of centroid. What is the formula of centroid? If three coordinates of a triangle are x one y one, x two y two, and x three y three, what is the formula for centroid? Centroid is X one plus X two plus X three over three, and y component is y one plus y two plus y three over three. So what we'll do is we will add all x's and divide by three. We'll add all y's. So what is x's? X components of all three are. I think you know how to recognize. It's always written in x y form. So this is x component. This is x component. This is x component. So minus four plus four is zero. What is left is six. So six by two is the x component remaining. So six by two. What is y? Y component is this minus two plus two. This becomes zero. And what is left is six. So again six by two. Something is wrong. Okay. This is by three. Sorry. So six by three. Here I am writing three. Here I am doing two. Two is in case of midpoint. Okay, midpoint is x one plus x two by two. So what we arrive at is two two. 
Now next one, nth term of an AP is this. What is the tenth term? Now nth term is given. So nth term of an AP is. So what we'll do is we'll replace the term value with n. So nth term is 2n plus 1. So what will be tenth term? 2 into 10 plus 1, that is 21. Right? What's happening here? 21. Okay. So, 2n plus 5, sorry. So, this is 5. I was taking 1, this is 5. So, 20 plus 5 is 25. That's why even 10 was, you know, not able, 10 was not ready to move because I was writing something wrong. The mean proportional between four. What is mean proportional? So suppose you have three terms A, B, C. Now we say B is the mean proportional. So in AGP what happens? Mean proportional means so B over A will be B over A will be okay. B over A will be C over B. Now you do cross multiplication. What do you arrive at? b square is equal to ac and that is the property of mean proportion so mean proportional is presuming x for 4 and 9 so x will be x square will be 4 into 9 that is 36 now 36 is whole square of 6 so 6 is the right answer which of the following cannot be determined graphically for a group frequency median you can figure out using a uh, seeing a graph pattern mode you can figure out because that is the number which is uh, coming out you know most uh, often so quartiles also you can do quartiles actually you can do best using frequency distribution uh, graphs so the only thing which you cannot figure out from a graph is mean because what is mean mean is some total of sigma x over n some total of all the values over number of terms. So mean is one thing which you cannot do using graphics. Now, volume of a cylinder of height 3 cm is 48 pi. What is the radius of the cylinder? Now this is very easy question. You know what is the volume of a cylinder? So what is the volume of a cylinder? Volume of a cylinder is I I square H. You should always remember all the formulas. Okay. I don't know what happened when is acting funny. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So volume of cylinder is pi R square H. We have height H. So we have pi R square H is 3 centimeter. Volume is 48 pi now pi takes care of pi and we'll divide this by 3 so we get r square is equal to 48 over 3 which is 16 so then r is equal to 4 question number question number 14 Navin deposits 800 per month in the recurring deposit account for 6 months so per month he is depositing how much? 800. So in 6 months, how much will he deposit? How much will he deposit? 6 into 800. In 6 months, how much will he deposit? 6 into 800. That is how much? 4,800. And what he got? 4,884. So received is? 4,884. Deposited was? 4,800. So how much interest he got? 4,884 minus 4,800 is 84. I don't think you have to think much on that. So the interest earned is 84. Next question, question number 15th. This is the last of the MCQs. Solution for set for the inequation is this, this, this. Now you know that x has to be a whole number. x is subset of w. Which are the whole numbers? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are the whole numbers and so on, you know. 
सो हि आर द कंडीशन गिवन इज कंडीशन गिवन इज टू एक्स प्लस फोर इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू फोर्टीन सो विल टेक दिस फोर ऑन दिस साइड सो इट बिकम्स टू एक्स इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू फोर्टीन माइनस फोर विच इज टू एक्स इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू टेन सो डिवाइड बोथ साइड बाई टू सो एक्स इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू फाइव सो विच आर द नंबर विच इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू फाइव एंड द होल नंबर सो फर्स्ट होल नंबर इज जीरो देन टू वन देन टू देन थ्री देन फोर एंड फाइव फाइव इज ऑल्सो देर वाई बिकॉज लेस देन इक्वल टू सो इवन इट कैन बी इक्वल टू फाइव सो द सबसेट विच इज राइट हेयर इज जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव हेड डिज बी इन एक्स इज लेस देन इक्वल टू लेस देन फाइव देन वी हैड दिस आंसर बट हेयर वी हैड इक्वल टू ऑल्सो माइंड इट डेज एन इक्वल टू साइन ओके लेस देन इक्वल टू मीन्स ऑल पॉसिबिलिटीज you know that funda which is like uh, hole and a filled hole okay so a blank hole means that value is not included filled hole means that value is included now we'll on to question 2 find the value of a if x minus a is a factor of polynomial this 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 what is the polynomial let me put my glasses on so this is the polynomial Okay, now we are doing this question, question number two, part one. Fine. Now we have to write all the steps. Reason being, now we are into, uh, we are not into MCQs. Find the value of a if x minus is a factor of polynomial. If x minus is a factor, means x minus is a factor means we can replace x is equal to a, and the polynomial is. Polynomial is also written as f of x. Okay, function of x is three x cube plus x square minus a x minus eighty one. Right? Now, if we replace x is equal to a, the value of the polynomial should reduce to zero. Right? Because x is a factor. Because a is a factor of this, so we'll replace x is equal to a here, and we arrive at three into a cube plus a square minus a into a minus eighty one. Which is equal to zero. Why? Because x minus a is a factor, and that's why we are replacing x is equal to a. Now a into a is a square, so this remains three a cube plus a square minus a square minus eighty one is equal to zero. Both get adjusted. We get three a cube is equal to eighty one. A cube is equal to eighty one over three. What is eighty one? Eighty one comes in the table of three. Three. Two the six, two twenty one, twenty seven. So we get a cube equal to seven. What is twenty seven? Twenty seven is three into three into three, right? That means a is equal to three. So first part is done. Four marks are done without really any serious efforts. Next question is Salman deposits thousand rupees every month in a recurring deposit account for two years. If he receives twenty six thousand on maturity, find the total internet interest Salman earns. So first we will do. Okay, now this question is for Salman Bhai, so we will take it seriously. Right. So now we have principal is one thousand rupees. Total amount earned is twenty six thousand. Term is twenty-four months. It's a monthly recurring. Okay, so we will use the formula. I is equal to T into N okay P into N. N plus one by two into twelve and whole into R by hundred. Okay. So what is the interest earned? If he has deposited thousand rupees in twenty-four months, how much he will deposit? There is another formula which is about. Uh, you know the cumulative sum, but here I have used interest one. So. In twenty-four months, Salman will deposit 
हाउ मच मनी दैट इज ओन कैश राइट राइट सलमान मिल डिपॉजिट हाउ मच मनी सलमान मिल डिपॉजिट ट्वेंटी फोर इंटू वन थाउजेंड दैट इज ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड सो हाउ मच इंटरेस्ट ही अर्न इंटरेस्ट ऑल यू गॉट वॉज ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड सो यू अर्न ओनली टू थाउजेंड नॉट जस्ट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फार्मूला एंड पुटिंग वैल्यूज एट द राइट प्लेस सो वील पुट टू थाउजेंड इन प्लेस ऑफ आई What was the principal? One thousand. Correct. One thousand was the principal. What was the term? N is twenty-four. What is N plus one is twenty-five. We have to find R. Now the only variable here is R, and everything else is given. So this thousand, two thousand, this three zero is gone. We have two. This two into twelve is twenty-four. It is gone, and twenty-five fours are hundred. So R by four is equal to two. So R is equal to eight percent per annum. So that is the interest. Next question after Salman was this. In the given figure, O is the center of the circle, C is a tangent to the circle, and ABD is twenty-six. So what is given? Angle ABD is given. I think this is same question which was there. Okay. This is the same question which was there before in MCQs. You have a tangent. You have this angle, and find BDA. Now BDA we have to find. O is the center of the circle, right? That means AB is the diameter. Okay. And angle made within a semicircle is always ninety. Now this this A. ABD this AB is the diameter so ABD is a semicircle so angle made in semicircle is 90 degree so BDA is 90 degree angle BAD now we know this angle is 90 okay this angle is given so this angle we can figure out in triangle this is a triangle property yeah all angles is equal to 180 Okay, so this will become one eighty minus ninety plus twenty six. What is ninety plus twenty six? So this becomes sixty four degrees, right? Now next is CAD. CAD. CAD is this. Now we know a tangent always meets at ninety degree with the center radius from the center. Tangent center property. Okay, so this angle is ninety degree, right? This angle is ninety degree, and this angle is sixty four. So what is CAD? CAD is ninety minus sixty four. That is how much? Twenty six. Or you can use that alternate segment or something you know which was there in MCQ, but I usually avoid that property. ODB is O D B. Now we know O D is equal to O B, and this angle is twenty six, so this angle has to be. It's an isosceles triangle now. O D B. O D is equal to O B. Isosceles. So this is twenty six. So this is twenty six. Such a easy question. You got free four marks. Next one. Solve the following quadratic equation. Okay. So. This equation, there doesn't seem to be a scenario where you can make factor. So what we'll do? We will use quadratic formula. What is quadratic formula? Quadratic formula is x square plus b x plus c is the quadratic equation. So a is equal to one, b is equal to four, and c is equal to minus eight. In this, if you compare this with the standard quadratic equation, we will use the quadratic formula: minus b plus minus root of b square minus four ac by Two a. Just put these values. You arrive at what is b? That is four minus four plus minus. 
स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर स्क्वायर इज सिक्सटीन माइनस फोर इंटू माइनस एट इज थर्टी टू ए इज वन सो सिक्सटीन इंटू थर्टी टू डिवाइडेड बाई टू इंटू ए इज वन सो वट वी आर आई वेट इज माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस सिक्सटीन थर्टी टू इज फोर्टी एट फोर्टी एट इज फोर इंटू ट्वेल्व और सिक्सटीन इंटू थ्री इल टू सिक्सटीन इंटू थ्री वट इज सिक्सटीन स्क्वायर रूट फोर थ्री इज स्क्वायर रूट विल रिमेन थ्री सो इट का माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस फोर रूट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टू 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 जो फोर टू टू जो फोर सो द आंसर इज माइनस टू प्लस माइनस टू रूट थ्री वट इज रूट थ्री रूट थ्री इज वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू सम ऑफ दीज थिंग्स यू नॉट टू सर्ट ऑफ यू नो नो इट बिफोर हैंड यू नो बिकॉज इफ आई गेट डाउन टू डू वैल्यू ऑफ रूट थ्री इट विल टेक टाइम सो इट बिकम्स माइनस टू प्लस माइनस वट इज रूट थ्री इज वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू आई डू माई रफ वर्क हेयर सो वन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री टू इंटू टू इज टू टू फोर टू थ्री सिक्स टू सेवन फोर्टीन फोर थ्री पॉइंट फोर थ्री पॉइंट फोर सिक्स फोर सो प्लस माइनस थ्री पॉइंट फोर सिक्स फोर करेक्ट माइनस टू प्लस थ्री इज माइनस टू प्लस थ्री सो थ्री इज बिगर सो विल गेट वन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स वन ऑप्शन Okay, you have to give one significant figure. I have taken two. Okay. One point four six. This is one of the option. Other option is minus two minus three is minus five point four six. So these are the two answers. Okay, four marks free. Now next one we'll use space here. We'll change the color so that we don't sort of you know. Uh, get confused. Okay, now this is the question, and here we will do it. Prove the following identity. Which identity? This one. Sine square theta minus one, tan square theta plus one, plus one is equal to zero. I think this is very very simple question in trigonometric identities. Okay, what is sine square theta? Sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. So that means sine square theta is equal to One minus cos square theta, correct? We'll put that value. So first one we put one minus cos square theta minus one. What is tan square theta plus one? Tan square theta plus one is sec square theta. This is a two-step question. Trust me, you know I think easiest. Then we have a plus one. We are doing LHS, okay? RHS we have to match, okay? What is minus cos square theta? Into sec square theta. What is sec square theta? Sec square theta is one by cos square theta is gone. So we get minus one plus one. So what we get minus one plus one, and it is zero. That is equal to R S S. It is proved. Right now, next one is a graph sheet. We will do it using a uh, graph paper. Okay. So give me a moment. Yeah, I'll be back. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. So you know we are going to put section B also very soon on uh, uh, on YouTube. So please keep connected, please subscribe, and uh, let's move on to last question of this section A, which is question three. Thank you. Hi. So we are doing the third question of section A, the last one, which has five parts, and each part is one mark. Okay. So we we'll look at the First one it says plot A B C where A is zero four. Now I have marked on x axis two centimeters is one unit which is what was given, and we have x axis positive, x axis negative, and we have y axis positive, y axis negative. Right. So we have plot A B C where A is zero four. Zero four means x is zero and y is four. So that means this is at this point this is A. Then B is uh, B is uh, one 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 means this is the point one one. This is B. C is four zero four zero means x axis four and y axis zero. So this is your C. Then next point is reflect A and B on the x axis. Now if you see. 
A's reflection on the x-axis will be equal amount of distance on the negative y-axis. The x component for A is 0. Okay. So, we will take minus 4 on y. So, this becomes A's reflection on x-axis. And we have to name it as E. So, this becomes E. And B's reflection on the x-axis will be 1 on the negative y direction and 1 x-axis, uh, 1 component remains same. Because B is in the positive xy side, so B's reflection will be in negative y, but x will remain positive. So it will be, we have to name it D. So this becomes the point. This is your D. This becomes your D. Next is reflect B. Now we have done part A and B. Third part C is reflect B through the origin. Now if you see B through the origin will be like reflecting it in the x is equal to y line. That is what origin means. That means it is one distance away on the x axis and one distance away on the y axis. So when we reflect through origin, we will take something which is one axis away in the negative x direction, one uh, one point away in the negative y direction. So this becomes B's reflection through the which is actually to be named F. So gone up to F. Next is write down the coordinates of F. So x co F coordinates will be minus 1 and minus 1. Next, now C is done. Now D is reflect B and C on the y axis. Now B and C on the y axis. Now we see B is one distance away on the x axis from y axis. So from y axis B is one unit away towards x axis. So this reflection will be one unit away towards negative x axis. And we have to call it H. And next is C. C is C's y component is 0, so its reflection will also have 0 y component. Its x component is 4, so its reflection will have minus 4. And we are reflecting it on the, what we have to call it, H and uh, reflect B and C in the axis name H and G. So C becomes G. Now we have to join points A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and A. So we will join these points. I will take the line. So, A to B and B to C and C to D and D to E. D to e. and E to F F to G and G to H and H to A And last part is you have joined and name the closed figure. So what do you see here? You see a star here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. An 8 armed polygon. So 8 armed polygon is known as 8 armed polygon is known as octagon. Or it looks like a star so we may call it star polygon. So that will be my response to this. I will call it octagon or star polygon. So that is the name of the figure. Thank you. Thanks for watching me. Please subscribe. We will have many more uh, previous years papers uploaded. So I will add B part also section B for 2023 and 22, 21, 20 as well. Thank you. And 
great being with you